I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just got this uh, Steger and Sons piano in. Um, just came in from Colorado, which is which is really um, exciting. I love I love getting pianos in. Uh, we get actually pretty frequently pianos in from all over the country to to rebuild, um, and this one's particularly exciting um, because uh, the the uh, client that we're rebuilding it for was so enthusiastic about what we do here that he wanted uh, he, he in, insisted that I have some of my boys work on it um, my sons that is when I say my boys so uh, so it's gonna be a fun project to do for him so uh, Steger and Sons um, the year uh, I haven't looked it up but just by looking at it I'm guessing it's somewhere um, pre 1910 probably 1900 1910 somewhere in there uh, so let's just have a look. What, well, actually, why don't we why don't we get a, a shot of the cabinetry first? Um, we've got some some pretty severe water spots, damage on the top, and then uh, just kind of looking around, uh, the, the pedals and the harp pedals have a lot of wear. Um, of course, the uh, as usual, there's some some pretty severe damage on the front there, and then of course in the, on, the, on the key slip, and um, it looks like overall like it's been relatively well maintained. It's just been, it's just 100 years old, well, well even more. Okay, make sure that doesn't slip off. Sometimes the hinges here don't have pins in them, so when you lift it up, it just slides off to the back on these older pianos. Steger and Sons built in Steger, Illinois. Okay, um, first impressions. The hammers, of course, as usual, are totally shot. Uh, dampers. We're gonna we're gonna replace these dampers with larger dampers. They seem to be um, in. I mean, for a hundred years old, uh, reasonable condition. But we're gonna put new ones on, and they're gonna they're gonna work better. So these older pianos, they, they have that ring. I don't know if that's coming through on the video. They just kind of ring a little bit more than what modern tastes sort of uh, dictate, what, what modern tastes like. And so, so we, we replace them with, with triple, triple dampers, a little bit longer. These are probably like inch and, inch and three eighths, something like that, and we'll have two and a quarter. So that's, that's quite a bit longer. Um, well, the, the ivory, uh, the ivory looks to be, well, yeah, that's that's definitely real ivory. It looks to be in oh, I don't know, B, B minus condition, B plus maybe something somewhere in there. Um, we could definitely work with it. Just fix these chips um, with some acrylic. Maybe replace some of them where they're a little short. I don't know. Got a stash of ivory. And let's look at the ebony. Um, the ebony is not in great shape um you you can actually and i'm not sure that it's ebony you can find out that if it's ebony a few ways um they there's a seam right there at the top of the key if you pop it off you drop it into a glass of water if it sinks it's ebony ebony is wood and and other replacements that that some of these piano manufacturers use they might have used pine and just painted it uh, and if it floats then it's pine or some other cheaper wood but if it sinks it's ebony you can also just drill into the back like if you take the key off drill into into the back and if it's that's not ideal but because you're drilling into it but if it's black sawdust um, then that's a sign that it's ebony versus pine sawdust okay So, so I'm not I'm not quite sure what we'll do on the ebony's yet. Maybe we'll sand them down and see how kind of see how things turn out. Got some little hairline cracks all along the speaking side of the bridge. 
The apron looks pretty good. Soundboard. Soundboard actually looks pretty good. I'm pleased with that. We'll, we'll end up refinishing it. We'll also refinish this plate. Um, that'll look really nice. Look like brand new. We use an automotive paint. We'll rebuild everything down there. We'll replate those those pedals and along with the other um, the other hardware. Uh, probably put new casters on there. Of course, it goes without saying that if we're doing all of that work on the on the plate and everything and, the, and refinishing the soundboard, all of that, we'll obviously put on new pins and new strings. Like I said, new hammers, new dampers. Uh, I think we'll do new, uh, we'll do new hammer butts. Looks like they are Billings flanges, which is a brass, brass type of flange. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to play it. Bridges. So the bit, like I said a minute ago, the base bridge has some, uh, Base bridge has some um, some cracks, but but from what I can see, what's available to uh, for observation on the other on the other bridges, they look pretty good. So uh, yeah, let's just let's just listen to it. components on there, new hammers and strings in particular. This piano's gonna sound awesome. I'm really op very, very optimistic about how this piano's gonna turn out. <laughs> 